Hello and welcome to my workplace accommodation, workplace disability ally series, I suppose I will call it. For the first episode in the series, I'm going to talk about accommodations and the criteria that sometimes is brought into the picture that shouldn't be brought into the picture for disabled employees. Now, sometimes what has been ha what has happened for people is that because they didn't need a certain accommodation that they are now asking for, that all of a sudden makes companies or whoever is in charge of these accommodations think that they shouldn't have to have them now and they are denied or they are altered or they are changed to something that is not actually what the employee needs. Now, what people need to realize and what especially businesses and places of employment need to realize is that disabilities can be very fluid. They can look one way one day in a different way the next day, and they can look one way one year and different the next year. Just because an individual did not need that accommodation the year prior, or maybe they were too afraid to ask for that accommodation the year prior, does not mean that they do not need that accommodation now, and that should not be the deciding factor or go into that deciding factor on whether or not you grant that accommodation, especially if it comes at no cost to you and does nothing to hinder that employee's working ability.